Today we are going to be making a keto pizza. It's an excellent choice for those on the keto diet, trying to cut carbs. It's very easy to make, it's versatile. It's made with a dough that starts with cheese. Sounds a little odd, but it is delicious. So for our recipe, all I have here is three cups of shredded mozzarella and two tablespoons of cream cheese. What we want to do is warm this just enough to be able to work with it with our hands and it doesn't take long, 30 to 45 seconds, and then we'll add the other ingredients and roll it out. So we're going to turn this into our bowl. We have three quarters of a cup of almond flour or almond meal, one egg, and one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. We just bring this together until it picks up all of the egg and all of the almond flour. Once it's incorporated well, we'll bring it into a ball and we'll turn it out and roll it. So this dough is unique. You need to work with it in kind of a unique way. We are just gonna put this between two pieces of parchment paper that are oiled well with olive oil and just roll it out. It just takes about five quick rolls, shape it to our pizza pan and put it in the oven. I'm going for a thin crust, about an eighth of an inch thick. So we're going to put this into a 425 degree oven for about seven or eight minutes until we start to see some browning, some bubbling on top. While that's happening, we're going to take care of some of our toppings. We're just going to chop a few peppers and onion, cook some sausage. So all I'm going to do is saute the peppers and onions just to give it a little bit of color. I just like my peppers and onions to have a little head start before they hit the oven. The pizza looks great. It's coming along nicely. We're going to pull it out, flip it over, and put it back onto the pan and cook the other side for another three or four minutes. So our pizza crust is ready, all of our toppings are ready. We're going to start putting everything in place. To begin with, I'm using Rao's marinara sauce. Rao's is famous because it uses high quality tomatoes and it's very low sugar. It's perfect for a keto, low carb pizza. So we just started the base on top of our tomato sauce with a little mozzarella and freshly grated Parmesan. And then I love spinach on a pizza. The more veggies, the better. So. We're just using a little bit of baby spinach and a few of our sauteed onions and garlic, peppers, and a little bit of our sausage, a little more parm, and a pinch of chili flakes. That's looking good. It's ready for the oven. When it comes out, we'll top it with some fresh basil and we'll give it a try. There it is, our keto pizza. Crust is nice and crispy. We just topped it with a little bit of fresh basil. I'm gonna put a tiny sprinkle of Parmesan on top of it. We're gonna cut it and enjoy.